All right, so today we're gonna be talking about Ishiki Otsuki's uh, dojutsu that he has. It essentially looks like a yellow pinwheel pattern and is showcased in Baruto Chapter 51 and Baruto Chapter 52. Um, and this dojutsu gives him access to two primary abilities. One of them is Sukuna Hikona, which basically gives the user the ability to shrink themselves or anything non-living with just a gaze and can, in effect, return it to its original size at will. Ishiki usually uses this as like an offensive ability by shrinking his projectile and restoring it to its original size on a target usually inflicting like a, a massive amount of damage like for example if you were to put a pencil in your ear and he, he could expand it so big that your head explodes no don't do it he also has the ability of dio kukuten which basically allows Ishiki to store anything that he is shrunken by his uh, Sukuna Hikona ability into a dimension, a little pocket dimension where time does not flow, quote unquote. And as a result of uh, Daioga Kuten, if he wanted to, he could like send a table of like food into his pocket dimension and summit upon it whenever he pleases. And I believe Jigen actually did this. When we were kind of like just getting introduced into his abilities, he kind of demonstrated this ability. Bruh. Another one. And basically this dojutsu, uh, it reminds me of Obito's Mangekyo Sharingan because it can be used for similar purposes, you know, essentially disappearing into another dimension as well as, uh, you know, sending other objects there as well. Um, and it's also like shaped in a pinwheel, much like basically every Mangekyo Sharingan ever. Also, the objects can be retrieved so fast that they can catch like Sasuke and Naruto off guard. Honestly, this dojutsu does not have a ton of abilities, but again, it's like a Mangekyo Sharingan. It gives you access to like two uh, main abilities, like um, Itachi, who has access to Sukiyomi, or um, Amaterasu. It's very similar to that, it has access to like two main abilities, but for one eye. This dojutsu can also summon some large black cubes that can disrupt some techniques of like sensory type individuals. And can also allow the user to estimate their lifespan, and this was kind of like showcased. Again, in the fight with Naruto, when he went Baryon Mode versus uh, Ishiki, he was able to kind of determine his lifespan. And because the whole point of Baryon Mode was that it, it reduces the lifespan of your opponent as well as yourself. Um, it is worthy to note that this ability can also be used by Jigen, which is the vessel of Ishiki. Know your place, trash. But when he uses it, he has to uh, use hand seals in order to finish it, um, which makes it a little bit more obvious when he's going to be using it and when he's not going to be using it. Uh, whereas Ishiki himself can just, like, at a glance, perform the, the, the techniques uh, provided by the dojutsu, and without warning, they can cause some serious damage. Again, we only just saw it showcased once with Ishiki, and we haven't even gotten a name for it, so we don't know the extent of its abilities, but it is plausible that we can see this again in the future with uh, Kawaki having the Karma Seal again in the later on in the show, so it could be that we could see some of the extents of this ability later on. Anyways, there's not a whole lot else to cover. If you also, huge thanks to Gritty. Go check out Gritty's Twitter for helping me edit some of my videos. If you guys like more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.